Welcome to MonroeMotors.com. Here we have a 1979 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Coupe in Mazda Black Cherry on white, white interior. So uh, we'll just start over at the rear. Uh, this one, the hatch does not open, but I'll just show you here from the back. Um, so there's the back window. It's got the fuel door here. Look at the paint on this thing. It is absolutely stunning. Looks great. Um, on the back here, we've got the circular taillights. We've got dual exhaust on a stainless steel. Um, this car was a full frame off restoration in 2012. So um, I've got the documentation here. We've got a box um, of some extra parts and pieces with it. Um, if we have a look here, um, so I'm just gonna show you some of the photos through the book so you can see. Um, so here it is here. Here's some of the photos and we'll flip through to the next page. So full frame off with a crate motor. It's got, uh, uh, which was done in 2012. And I'm just go to the next page here. Look, the brakes, everything was done. The fuel tank was replaced, uh, fuel lines. Um, it's got a, a rebuilt transmission paired to the crate motor. Had some interior work done as well. So new carpet was put in. Uh, we've got the T-tops with the, uh, the tinted um, mirrored finish on them. So there's one of the books there. Um, have a look at this one. All right, so we'll just flip through here. Oh, there we go. So I believe this is when he first got the vehicle before it was restored. So we've got that book there from when it was original. And then we've got a secondary book here with more images. And let's see what else we got. Ah, here we go. So black cherry metallic. And there's the frame. So a lot of work, a lot of love went into this car. As you can see, there's the body off. Right? Very detailed. So that's great. So we've got all that. We've got the GM documentation. We've got the original uh, bill of sale there. Uh, it's a little faded, a little difficult to read, but it is there. Uh, we've got a pile of receipts here uh, with all the expenses put into the vehicle. So lots of documentation, which is really nice for this one. Uh, so I'll continue on. We'll move around the side. Here's the rear wheel. It's got the nice General XP2000 uh, tires on the uh, original wheels. Looks good. Uh, if you can see inside, the rotors and calipers are painted as well. Uh, here's the door skin on the passenger side. It's in really good shape, as you can see. Here's the kick plate. Looks good. And uh, have a look at the seat. I'll show you the condition. Looks good. And then these do fold down to give you access to the back. Um, and then we've got cubbies back here, so um, pile driver, so there's an amp in there. Um, let's see, some wiring for the amp, and we've got the battery in this one. Uh, so that's all there. There's a cover for the T-tops. Uh, it's got the nice carpeted back. And as I get in, just have a look in the door frame. It's nice and tidy. We'll uh, check out the glove box here. Um, some just some pieces there for the radio um, and there it is that's the 79 Corvette owner's manual on the plastic ordering bag so that's great that's there um, cut this back away and have a look at the dash while we're here on this side looks good and we'll hop out we'll close it up And I'll just step to the back of the vehicle and we'll move along this side so you can see the condition. Looks great. And at the front there, we've got our Corvette badging. 
And here's our front wheel. So again, nice XP tires. We've got painted rotors, painted calipers in there. Looks great. And under the hood, we've got the crate motor. So it's a V8, uh, 350, so 5.3 liter. It's 290 horsepower. And that's paired to a 700R automatic transmission, four speed, uh, which has been rebuilt. Uh, I believe the car came with a three speed and was upgraded during the rebuild to the four speed. Um, as you can see, it's nice and tidy still. Uh, the headers look good, so looks clean. Uh, so I'm just going to go around the other side so I can close uh, the hood. Um, so we'll just get over here and uh, I'll undo the lock and we'll close it up. There it is. So I'll just show you from the front. So spectacular looking color. Looks fantastic. Uh, in terms of issues, um, looks like this is uh, not completely tight to the body. Um, there is some marks, so way under here there's a front nose cone, uh, which looks like it's been bumped, and there's a little bit of paint missing on it. Um, but uh, nothing that you see from up top. Uh, if I'm critic, there's one little mark that's been touched up here on the, the light um, and there's a previous repair, paint repair here. We've wet sanded it and make it look the best that we can for you, um, you know, but you can still see. So I don't know if you can see that in the camera, there is the seam there, uh, which if you look in the right light, you'll always see, but uh, you know, it does, if you're not hunting for it, it, it looks fine. Um, outside of that, uh, there's one little mark right there and one stone chip up here so pretty pretty nice but uh, of course there's going to be little marks that uh, you can't really you know prevent right they're going to happen going down the road overall looks great so we'll continue on there's your other front wheel so looks good general grabber tires the original wheels um, painted calipers painted rotors and same thing back here looks great uh, so over at the driver's side, so here's the door skin, looks good, and uh, I'll show you the kick plate, there it is, and I'll scan up the seat for you so you can see the condition, awesome, and I'll hop in as I get in, have a look in the door frame, and we'll get in, we'll fire this one up, alright, uh, so let's just turn key, fires right up. And I'll show you, it's got the glass roof. So it's a T-top, so you can undo them. You just simply uh, pull this latch right here um, or press it back in to lock it back into place. And those, uh, both T-tops do pop out. Um, so just turn down the radio there. Um, so we've got a uh, washer wiper switch over here. We've got our headlight control. So we'll turn the headlights on. So when you pull that, they're operated by vacuum. Uh, they both flip up, so there they are. Um, and uh, let's see, if I turn the knob, there is a dimmer, so I've brightened up the, the gauges there. Uh, in terms of kilometers, actually it's in miles, so it's 62,474 miles. Um, and then we do have uh, tilt steering, so this uh, will bring the wheel down, and then I'm gonna move it back up. Uh, this has telescopic, so if you turn this lock here, um, you can uh, move the steering wheel up and down. So it's a little tight, uh, but it does go up and down, and then we can lock it in place. Uh, we've got the nice brand new wheel, looks great. Um, and got your horn, that's working. We've got our four ways uh, down here. Um, so there's the four ways. And uh, over here, we've got Corvette. Uh, we've got gauges, so you've got temperature, you've got fuel, we've got clock, uh, oil pressure, and battery. Um, we've got an aftermarket uh, um, digital radio here uh, that's made to look like the uh, old radios. Um, so you've got lots of different options in there. And then down below, we've got our heating controls um, and our automatic shifter. We've got our power windows here. Um, both windows work. Uh, the driver or passenger uh, window is a little bit noisier, but uh, it does work. And we've got our emergency brake here as well. So that's great. 
Uh, it looks like there's uh, an aftermarket auto starter or alarm that's been put in, but there is no remotes that have come with it. Um, I mean, that's up to you. If you want to look into that, you could probably get a, a remote to operate that. Um, but I'm just sharing, letting you know that it is there. Uh, we've got our mirror operation. So the, the mirror um, is a manual uh, mirror, uh, which does move as you can see. Um, the passenger one you would need to uh, move manually as well from the outside. Uh, so since it's running, we'll hop out and we'll have a look and we'll listen. Sounds awesome. So I'll just hop out. I've got the headlights popped up on the front so you can see. There it is with the headlights on. Looks good, and we'll move along this side so you can see the condition. Awesome. That's what it's all about right there. Sounds awesome. What a beast. And there you have it folks, 1979 Chevrolet Corvette Stingray Coupe. You're in available at MonroeMotors.com. Come on down and have a look at this one for yourself. Look forward to seeing you real soon.